Hi there, Libra. This is Cindy from the New Moon Tarot, and this is a general love reading for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Libra for the week of October 3rd. If this one doesn't resonate so much, Libra, go ahead and check out your natal chart and my other readings, specifically your moon, which is emotions, and Venus, which is how you show up in relationships. You might want to do this anyway, since there could be messages there for you. We are looking at the overall energy. I'm also going to pull cards for your person and then clarify everything in real time. Yes, that means shuffling. Please like and subscribe while I have you here since I post weekly. If you want your own private reading, you can find my information down below in the description box. My least expensive is 20. If you want the extended, go ahead and click the join button. It's $10 and you get access to all of the extendeds for every single sign for an entire month. We're going to do intentions, feelings, the unknown or what you don't see coming and advice. All right, Libra, so first things first, your major arcana is showing up here. Uh, this is major for Libra. Justice is about truth, honesty, openness. Um, it can sometimes mean an apology or someone making things right. It's often about balance. Uh, Libra is known for balance. You can see like those scales balancing here. So there may be some truth coming your way, or this is you and your power. There could be an apology here. And I do think this is about a connection that's pretty intense. We've got the star major for Aquarius. It's being wishful, hopeful, optimistic. You may have been manifesting this connection, or someone may have been manifesting you. And then we've got like this magnetic attraction here, the Ace of Wands. It's a new beginning. It's a fresh start. It's uh, very, being very passionate about someone. I'm attracted to you. Um, I can't leave this alone. The Eight of Wands is messages or communication coming in. So this could be a connection that you've remained optimistic about, or this could be someone that you've been dealing with that there's like this push pull between the two of you and you really you can't let it go they can't let it go um, wands are very activating energy it's passion power pursuit excitement attraction um, this really feels kind of dynamic and magnetic here so let's take a look at your person a little bit closer all right so we have the five of cups on the table this is the light seers tarot I'm going to be using the Tarot of Mystical Moments to clarify. At the end, I'm going to be pulling a card for what your person's currently thinking or what they need to say to you, and also a card for current feelings. So Five of Cups is regrets about the past. It's thinking about what might have been or what could have been or what should have been. Um... They may have been like making some mistakes here or some missteps or maybe both of you have, but check out this. We've got the devil, Capricorn energy. It's feeling a little bit obsessed with someone. It's a tie between the two of you. Um, there could be some, some things to let go of here, some self-limiting or self-sabotage behavior, but I just think that this person is mutually attracted to you. They're mutually drawn to you. It can be like feeling possessive or obsessive about someone. So what is going on with this person? Tell me about Libra's person. Judgment card. That is another Libra major arcana for me as a reader. It's making big decisions. It's also the resurrection of a relationship. It's um, for some of you, this is a reconciliation. For others of you, this is deciding here to pursue this connection to maybe take things to the next level it's really making big moves in a connection we've got the king of wands here leo sag aries energy as well as the nine of wands so we've got a lot of wands here you could be dealing with a fire sign a leo a sag or an aries specifically a leo with that king of wands you can see the lion kind of peeking over his shoulder here uh, one or both of you can have fire in your chart, but sometimes the court cards are aspects of our personality. This is someone who's very attracted to you, who is very passionate about you, who's wanting to pursue you here. We've got the Nine of Wands, the Wounded Warrior. I'm still carrying a torch for you. Maybe there's been a lot of 
you know, water under this bridge here. We've got this Five of Cups. We got the Nine of Wands. So again, this could be a reconciliation or it could be someone who's kind of been through hell. Maybe you've been through hell in another relationship and this is something that the two of you are dealing with and growing. But there is this magnetic attraction. There is this pursuit here. There is this sense like the two of you are going to make this work no matter what. This is unstoppable. This is going to happen. All right. Let's do one more and then I want to clarify this. <laughs> we have the Six of Wands here. Six of Wands is a victory card. It's someone who wants your attention. They want your affection. They want you to notice them. They want to win you over. You're going to be pursued here. I also think this is like someone who sees you, who understands you maybe in a way that others have not. It's like, you know, you feel seen or they feel seen with you. All right, let's clarify this. All right, tell me about Libra's person. We've got the Knight of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy, could be dealing with a water sign. I will also say this Knight of Cups is courtship. It's flirtation. It's charm, uh, someone coming in with that Romeo and Juliet energy. They want to sweep you off your feet. Sometimes that card can mean an apology. We've got the Temperance card here, Major for Sagittarius. Some of you could be dealing with the Sag. It's about balance. This is becoming a balanced connection. Um, it's being patient. It's equally being interested here and invested. There's that star again, major for Aquarius. Some of you are dealing with an Aquarius. You have Aquarius in your chart or your person does, but it's being wishful, hopeful, optimistic. Honestly, it's like you can't stop thinking about them. They can't stop thinking about you. There's a mutual appreciation going on here. We've got the two of pentacles. Weighing options, uh, trying to make a decision here. Two of Pentacles can also mean like I'm busy. I have a lot going on in this connection or in my life. This person could be like a real go-getter. They're focused on success with that Six of Wands. Maybe you are. But look at this. You've got the Page of Pentacles here. That is making you an offer. It's... Um, my time, my energy, my effort, something valuable. For some of you, there is like an apology here because this person has been wishy-washy or distracted in the past, and it's showing up with the Nine of Swords. So this Nine of Swords and the Devil card showing up, like you're in their thoughts. They really can't stop thinking about you. You're in their mind. Um, they're maybe worrying about this connection or focused on you. Let's do one more, and then I want to do a card for feelings and what they're thinking or what they need to say here. Mm. And we've got the Hermit in reverse, major for Virgo. Could be dealing with the Virgo here. The Hermit in reverse is someone who's done some thinking. They've made some decisions about you. Two of Pentacles can indicate that as well. It's self-reflection and then coming out of that Hermit cave to contact you to work on something because they've come up with an answer maybe more of even like a solution here for this connection there could be some issues here to solve all right let's do a card for feelings and then those thoughts all right what are this person's current feelings for you there was a lot of passion and attraction here and we've got the chariot, major for cancer. It's possible that you're dealing with the cancer. The chariot is wanting to move forward with you or wanting to move past something. It can also represent someone coming towards you. Again, someone taking action, someone pursuing you. The chariot is also a long distance relationship card. So this could be a long distance connection. Or there's like an emotional distance between the two of you or a physical distance or an energetic distance that they're closing here. The upshot is that they want to make this happen. 
they want to work on it. All right, let's do a card for the thoughts or what they need to say. So I smushed two different Oracle decks together, the Hidden Truth Oracle and In the Shadows Oracle, so that we could get some hidden messages or thoughts, things they need to say. Hmm, we are not right for each other. I hid who I really am from you. You can't come where I am going. Did this person walk away? Or did you walk away here telling them like, this can't happen? They could have even actually said this to you. All right, we have, we're more alike than I admit. Leaving you hurt me too. This person could have been ambivalent about this connection in the past, or they thought that this wasn't going to work out, or you thought it wasn't going to work out. Let's take a look at these. So somebody here may have walked away. It hurt, so there are feelings here for you. We are more alike than I admit. We are not right for each other. Have you been having doubts here or has this person been having doubts in the past? I hid who I really am from you. Maybe they weren't completely honest with you. This probably has to do with the devil card showing up here. For some of you, this could be like an affair or like a forbidden love thing or there's some sort of an obstacle. Like even if it's something like you work for the same company and they have a policy against it. That's kind of the vibe that's coming up for me. All right. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Please like and subscribe since I post weekly. If you want your own private reading, you can find that down below. My least expensive is 20. And if you want the extended, click the join button or look for the link in the description box. We're going to do feelings, intentions, the advice, and the unknown or what you don't see. All right. Blessed be.